Today, I want to talk about the importance of clan boss inside of Raid Shadow Legends. If you're a new player and you're wondering, what game mode do I need to play every single day so I can gain the ultimate rewards? The answer is clan boss, and I'm going to show you why. Before I go any further, make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily Raid Shadow Legends videos, but even more important than that, if you've never played the game, consider using my QR code or my link in the description, which will get you a free epic champion. One that's a reviver and a healer, one of the best in the game, and one that can get you to the next level, especially when you're starting out brand new. You could only get this champion using my code, so let's get it done and help support the channel. I appreciate you guys. All right, so as it sits, it's early in the morning just starting our day and as you can see we have the red dot on clan boss this is a good example a good time for me to show you the example as to why i feel this is so important so let's go into clan boss and see what's going on demon lord and notice i have a box for brutal and i have a box for nightmare i did this intentionally ultra nightmare is where you gain the best rewards but i decided that for today i didn't want to try to grind that chest because most players especially if you're newer you're not able to get there or even touch anything inside of there most likely you're gaining rewards from easy normal or maybe even hard so i went with brutal and nightmare so you could see some more realistic rewards that you can get now when you click on these boxes and we're going to look at the ultimate prize you can gain which is ultra nightmare you'll notice you can get these different chests and the chest that we are all striving for is this transcendent chest the reason is the drop information which you can actually get from this chest are pretty massive notice you can get yourself a sacred shard you can even get yourself a legendary skill tome two things that are fairly unattainable for free to play or brand new players. Now, obviously you can get them. There are rewards that you get for playing the game where you get these, but you don't get an abundance of them. So you want to try and get to the best chest you can so you have better odds of getting these awesome rewards. Now, if we take a look over here at easy and we look at the number one chest in easy, you can see the rewards aren't quite as juicy. You definitely get some good stuff and you should still be doing it, but they're not as juicy as you get from that transcendent chest. And as you go, if we're in normal, you get a decent chest at drop one, or if you get to the drop info on the bottom, you'll get even better rewards. How do you get these different chests? Pretty simple. You take a look at the range of damage you need to do to the boss, and it shows you what chest you'll get. So if I, in one attack, can do over 3.6 million damage, I will get this final chest. If on one attack, I can only get to 2.45 million damage, I'd probably want to do a second attack doing using a second key on this boss so that I could unlock the next chest. So as of yesterday, I only used three keys. I recommend you use four keys per day. I was unable to get my fourth key used yesterday. It took me two attacks in Nightmare to get this chest and I got myself the best chest, and it took me one attack on Brutal to get myself the best chest. It's also worth noting and quite important that if you and your clan can completely defeat the boss, making this bar purple across the way, you'll get double the chests. So if I do my attack on Brutal, and this is purple, meaning my clan and I took it down in full, I will get two chests rather than the one. This is really important. It's double rewards. But let's take a look at what I actually grabbed from my attacks yesterday. So we're going to click on the box. You're going to notice that we did get the Grandmaster chest, and we're getting it times two. I did one attack. I got like 45 million damage. For 21 million damage, you get the Grandmaster chest. Let's claim it. Let's hope we get something lucky here today for the video. Looks like we did get ourselves an ancient shard, a decent piece of gear, and a bunch of brews. I will take shards for days, especially when you're a brand new player. You don't get a ton of these. So that's a good drop right there. Let's see what we can get in our second drop. Second drop, not as good. A decent piece of gear, a five-star piece, some silver, and a couple more brews. We'll claim that. Now, again, when you do Ultra Nightmare, your odds are the best of getting some of the best drops, including that sacred. Not to say you can't get the sacred in other places, but uh, because I have. Yesterday, I actually got a sacred shard and I got myself a legendary skill tome just for the prior day's attacks. So the value yesterday was massive. So far today, we're doing okay. Let's take a look at our nightmare 
rewards. And notice I did over 39 million damage. It did take me two attacks to do this. Let's claim the rewards and see if we get any luck here today. All right, not the best luck there. We got some brews, an okay piece of gear, some silver, and uh, some, as I call them, some jubblies. That's useful stuff for sure that we're getting for free. Definitely good, not great. Let's see if we can get something in our second chest. Oh, right, that is a huge win right there. Check it out. We got an okay piece of gear, brews, silver, but we got ourselves a legendary skill tome. These are things that don't drop all the time inside of the game. So if you can go ahead and get yourself these types of rewards one a day, your progress could be insane. Even if you get one every other day, you can get about 150 legendary skill tomes a year, which is really a great way to level up your legendary champions. So you wanna build a team that really could be successful, as successful as possible inside a clan boss. So that was a pretty good example. Now, I'm gonna go in and do my nightmare attack right now. Remember, I need two attacks on nightmare typically to get that chest. We need to get over 39 million damage. I'm gonna do my attack right here. I can do it on quick battle because there was a time when I got one attack in at 41 million damage. It unlocked quick battle, which is amazing because it saves me approximately five, six, seven minutes per attack because I can just do it just like this. We got ourselves 33.66 million damage. This means I will need to do another attack on the Nightmare Demon Lord so that I can get the final drop. As of right now, I only have enough damage to have received the Grandmaster Chest. And as you can see, the rewards in Grandmaster Chest are not as good as the Ultimate Chest rewards, allowing me to get myself a Sacred Shard, which I said I got yesterday, or a Legendary Skill Tome, which are the two jackpots of this reward. So what I need to do when another key becomes available later today is I need to come in and try to get the ultimate chest. And actually, I think I might have a reward where I can do it right now. Oh, check it out, I do right here. A key was a gift because of the maintenance that just went on inside of the game. Let's collect that and let's go back and do our final attack or at least our final attack on the nightmare realm. We're gonna go right here. Again, I just need a little bit more damage. I don't need a lot right now, but I must get that nightmare chest. That's the best chest that I could essentially unlock. Now with 28.99 million damage, we have achieved that chest. And as you can see, my total damage is right here, 62.64 million, and it took me two keys to do it. And if you take a look at the rewards, 39.17 is what's needed to get the ultimate chest. So, not a bad start. My next plan is to start grinding here in Nightmare, in Ultra Nightmare, and I'm typically able to get myself to the Divine Chest utilizing two keys. Now, the Divine Chest does not get me as good of rewards as I get from the Ultimate Chest from running it on Nightmare. So really, I need to strengthen my team a bit more before I start focusing in Ultra Nightmare. So I'll do two keys in Nightmare, I'll probably do one key in Brutal, and I'll, e I'll either, if I'm feeling good, I'll try one key in, night in Ultra Nightmare, or I'll just do one in Hard just to get some free rewards, just to try and get a little something more. But Clan Boss is the best way for you to get ultimate rewards as a new player inside of Raid Shadow Legends. It is the grind that is the most rewarding for you, especially if you're a low spender or someone that doesn't ever wanna buy Sacred Shards or ever wanna buy Legendary Skill Tones.